Live and on demand from the WNY News Now studios in downtown Jamestown. This is WNY News Now. And thanks for joining us for WNY News Now on this Tuesday. I'm Justin Gould. And I'm Matt Hummel. Happening now, New York State's fourth appellate court. The time to hear arguments regarding suppressing statements in a local arson case. Plus, how public schools is taking a stand bowling. But first, you are Dakota Hardy standing by with a live look at our weather. Hey, Dakota. Hey, Justin and Matt, and happy Tuesday, everybody. And we made it through Monday, which often can be a rough day of the week. But here we go with the, the Presque Isle Beach Sky Vision camera. It's looking like beach weather out there with the lots of sunshine, the blue water. But it's getting cooler, though. 63 degrees current temperature at Presque Isle Beach. And as we take a look at the radar, nothing. I mean, this is exactly what you're going to see today, tomorrow, Thursday. Friday, absolutely nothing. The radar is going to get a nice break and you can see the clouds that we had early this morning, woo, going away in the satellite image. So we'll see mostly sunny skies through the afternoon and because the clouds are going away, that means the fog is also lifting as well. We had some locally dense fog uh, pretty much across the southern tier early this morning. There was a dense fog advisory for that that has since uh, expired, but the, the visibilities are doing good. Everybody looking good in terms of that. So we won't have the fog to contend with through the afternoon. Warmer today, we should make it into the lower 60s the day with lots of sunshine and this pattern continues for the next several days. We'll talk about it in just a few minutes. Justin and Matt. Alrighty Dakota, thank you. Our top story, the Chautauqua County District Attorney's Office is appealing a decision from Judge David Foley that was dated February 8th suppressing statements of Jonathan Young, the man charged in connection with several fires in the Jamestown and Falconer area back in 2017, allegedly made to Pennsylvania State Police. According to the New York State 4th Appellate Division website, arguments in the matter are scheduled for December 2nd. First Assistant District Attorney Michael Flaherty will represent the DA's office, while Susan Ministero will represent Young. Young is accused of setting 12 fires in the Falconer and Jamestown area back in 2017, and he is charged with 14 counts of arson and 11 counts of criminal mischief. Foley's ruling came following a Huntley hearing back in December, which discusses the constitutionality of statements that a defendant makes to police. And full coverage on that can be found on WNYNewsNow.com right now. And Young remains in Chautauqua County Jail on $1 million bail. And in other news, a village of Faulkner Man is facing charges after allegedly stealing a credit card from a safe. New York State Police charged 25-year-old Daniel Blake with petty larceny following an investigation on Saturday. Blake allegedly stole the victim's credit card from a safe and used it for cash advantage advances. Troopers report Blake was arrested, processed, and released with an appearance ticket. He's scheduled to appear in the town of Ellicott Court coming up at a later date. New York's governor has signed a measure to prohibit the performance of pelvic exams without informed consent on patients under anesthesia or unconsciousness. Governor Andrew Cuomo made the announcement Monday saying the law takes effect in 180 days. Roughly a dozen states this year have introduced bills to require patients undergoing, undergoing gynecologic surgeries to give explicit approval to a pelvic exam beforehand. A pelvic exam is standard practice before gynecological surgeries. Medical students sometimes do the exams as part of training. Lawmakers say no one should have to worry about one authorized procedure can be done to their body. And students and teachers at Jamestown Public Schools recognize the importance of bullying prevention at Bush Elementary School Monday during the World Day of Bullying Prevention. According to a video posted on the district's Facebook page, school officials talked about the subject during an assembly with students. Educators remind the youth to recognize combat bullying every day by being kind to one another. Several students, teachers, and staff wore blue to raise awareness for the day. Jamestown Public School officials remind students and parents that they can report bullying online at jpsny.org forward slash um, anti-bullying. And Matt, we have links to that on wnynewsnow.com as well. Yeah, certainly, Justin. I mean, it's something that, uh, you know, has really been talked about a lot the last right. few years locally. Uh, it's good to see more awareness brought to yeah. that. 
And um, yeah, certainly starting them off young, it looks right, like. Right, I that. know, That's absolutely. Good. And you know, it, it, I remember back, and this is years and years mm -hmm. ago, but do you remember Glenn Colton? Yeah the, yeah, the guy that came in and saying the golden rule, Yes, right? yes. yes. It's yes. almost kind of like just different versions of things like that have mm -hmm. sprouted off. Um, and I, I, you start early, and, and, and it really grows. And, and obviously, you know, when you get up to, we were talking about it in the newsroom amongst our staff earlier, uh, when you get up to, um, you know, higher age groups, like high school age mm. students and things like that, you know, you run into, you know, issues where it goes beyond bowling, and the district tries their best, yeah. certainly, to address that. Um, and, and I think, you know, it's just the education is, is, is what's going to solve that and, um, you know, let the kids know that uh, it's okay to feel different about somebody, but at the same time, mm -hmm. you have to respect them still at the end of the day. Absolutely. So hopefully you are, are having a great day. Happy Tuesday. Lots of sunshine out there. Mm -hmm. Still kind of chilly, but we'll take it where we can get it, right? Um, hello to Wendy. Hopefully you're doing well. Um, Zach, hello to you. Uh, David, thanks so much uh, for tuning in. Joseph, uh, Pam is here as well. Um, hopefully you all are having a great day. Uh, let us know uh, what you think about these stories um, in the comments below. Um, and uh, you know what, Wendy, Facebook might be having a little bit of an issue when it comes to streaming uh, this morning. I know one of our engineers said that uh, they were having some issues. So if there is a lip syncing problem, certainly if you head on over, download the WNY News Now mobile app. If you haven't, just search WNY News Now on the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. You can watch the stream there in perfect high definition directly from us. Coming up, what a new study finds about our furry friends. But first, why political groups here in New York State are calling in a campaign finance task force for an update. Dakota. And we'll give you a live look from the uh, HD, from uh, not the HD News Now cam. I turned into Jay there for a second. This is the camera on top of the Double Tree Hotel. You can see the sunshine abode downtown, and that will continue. We'll talk about it next as WN News Now continues in a minute. Don't go away. Now get your cameras right, Dakota. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Live and on demand, you are watching WNY News Now. I lost my talk. It should be a government by the people, for the people. I stood alone to represent the citizens of the city for transparency, accountability, and fiscal responsibility. My value hasn't changed. I stand for you. Vote November 5th. Liuzzo for mayor. You're watching WNY News Now, where coverage comes first. Pronto Mart, not your average corner store. Located on the corner of Forest and Newland Avenues in Jamestown, Pronto Mart has everything you've been looking for. An amazing selection of hot a large variety of premier head smoke accessories to fit any spot. Not your average corner store. Stop Hi, my name is Dave. We've got to do as much as we for the citizens We can no longer afford these damned houses in our property values down. They bring crime and they bring to our communities. We've got to stop that. And in the Wilfong administration, that'll be one of my top priorities. My name's Dave Wilfong, and I'm running for mayor of the city of Jamestown. Please vote for me November 5th. Happening now, a task force setting rules for New York State's new $100 million public campaign finance system faced calls yesterday to give the public another chance to weigh in before a looming December deadline. The League of Women Voters and other advocacy groups sent a letter asking the Public Campaign Finance Commission to release interim recommendations to the public by the first week of November. Known as a small donor matching program, the system will provide $100 million in public financing to candidates who get small private donations. The idea is to reduce the power of deep-pocketed donors and corporations whose contributor contributors can dwarf those 
of individual voters. Now, the commission has until December 1 to announce rules that will become law unless lawmakers hold a rare end-of-the-year special session to reject them. The Supreme Court set to hear arguments in two of the term's most closely watched cases over whether federal civil rights law protects LGBT people from job discrimination. The cases today are the court's first on LGBT rights since Justice Anthony Kennedy's retirement and replacement by Justice Brett Kavanaugh. A decision is expected by early summer 2020 amid the presidential election campaign. And the issue is whether a key provision of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 that bars discrimination in employment because of sex covers LGBT people. A ruling for employees who were fired because of their sexual orientation or gender identify, or identity would have a big impact for the estimated 8.1 million LGBT workers across the country because most states don't protect them for, from workplace discrimination. An estimated one. 11.3 million LGBT people live in the U.S., that according to the Williams Institute at the UCLA Law School. Kennedy was a voice for gay rights and the author of the landmark ruling in 2015 that made same-sex marriage legal throughout the United States. Kavanaugh generally is considered more conservative. The Trump administration has changed course from the Obama administration and now supports the employers in arguing that the civil rights laws, Title VII, does not prohibit discrimination because of sexual orientation or transgender status. People have been waiting in line outside the court since the weekend to try to snag the few seats the court makes available to the public for arguments. Well, Latino-owned businesses are a powerful force fueling the U.S. economy. In an annual report from the Latino Entrepreneurship reveals gains, but still has room for improvement. Steve Nannis has more in today's Consumer Watch. Look at this, limonata and cremolata. The sweet taste of success often requires sacrifices. It is just a lot of hard work and dedication. I mean, I haven't known a vacation since, whew, yeah, since its inception, um, and that's okay with me because this is life. Myrna Perez is one of millions of Latino business owners playing a key role in the U.S. economy. The latest report from the Stanford Latino Entrepreneurship Initiative shows the growth rate of Latino-owned businesses is higher than any other group. It's amazing how we have grown. Uh, we have found out that a majority of our businesses actually are Latina women. The report also found these businesses face unique challenges. Latino startups tend to stay smaller and therefore make less money than their counterparts. Uh, over 5 million businesses now Hispanic through nationwide, but only really 3% of them are a million and over. The research also found that small businesses overall struggled with lack of business training and access to capital and loans. In fact, the report found that 72% of owners don't know their business credit score. Having to educate our community that they are actually entrepreneurs and they have access to many other resources to grow their company, that's really the key. For Consumer Watch, I'm Steve Nannis. All right, great report, Steve. Thank you. Well, dogs can add years to your life. That's according to new research from the University of Toronto. Researchers analyzed data from 4 million people in six countries. They found the dog owners had lowered the risk of dying early by 24%. For those who already had a heart attack, the risk of dying was lowered by 31%. A major factor could be pet owners who walk their dogs get up to 30 minutes of exercise a day. And studies also show that petting dogs can reduce blood pressure, anxiety, and depression. Well, let's just keep this footage running here for just another couple of <laughs> minutes. and uh, let, let us remind you that actually all of these uh, wonderful uh, four-legged friends mm -hmm. are up for adoption at the Chautauqua County Humane Society on Strunk Road. So if you like what you see, go and take a closer look uh, there. Uh -huh. So uh, certainly pretty cool, mm -hmm. good study. Who doesn't like dogs? I mean, I love dogs. I do too. You know. And uh, just the other day, we had uh, Ben the News Hound oh, in the studio, as Benny. we always have. Um, ben is an Alaskan Malamule uh, who, big, big dog. Mm. Um, yes. And uh, actually, you know what? We have enough time. Uh, Norm, can you, if you can hear me, can you grab, uh, or Dakota, because he can get into the studio. Can you grab that big picture of Ben? I want to show people Ben. If you grab it off the wall and just bring it in here to us, that'd be great. But um, he is a service animal uh, for our AD Simcoe, who is a contributor of WNY News. Now, wow, look at that. You're quick. Here comes Dakota. Hey, Dakota. 
Hi. So <laughs> this is Ben. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. This is Ben, and he's a great uh, yes. addition to the WNY News Now team. And he came in just the other day, and Matt, you went from doing work on your computer immediately. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> to Ben, you're like, come here, buddy. And then that became Matt's afternoon, rightfully mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. as well. So we'll just we'll just leave Ben right here. So good good boy. Coming up next, Dakota. He's back doing weather, not fetching pictures. Thank you, sir, though. Uh, he has a live look at our weather forecast coming up in just a bit. And Wendy, he wasn't on the show, unfortunately, but uh, absolutely Aww. agree with you. Uh, please adopt if you can. Absolutely. And later on, the deeds in a very tasty national holiday happening right now when we return. EagleZip.com is your local one-stop shop for all of your home and business computer needs. Located on Fluvan Avenue Extension, just outside of Jamestown, EagleZip.com sells and services all brands of desktops and laptops, as well as servers and network equipment for your business. From your old computer plus two-year warranty. Call EagleZip.com today. Weather is only a part-time gig. My full-time job is actually fetching pictures. All right, let's take a look at the five-day rain coverage. And really, the next several days, really no chance of rain. We have high pressure overhead, and when you have high pressure, it can't rain with its sinking air. Now, we do see a little bit more rain coming in here over the weekend, and that's with a frontal system that's going to be moving in. 58 over 48 is, uh, of course, our high and low yesterday, just 10 degrees separating the uh, high and the low. Average is 62. Look at the record for today, 81, set back just two years ago in 2017. You remember how warm it was this time of the year back in 2017? It would picked up a one one hundredth of an inch so far today. That actually was gauged at about six o'clock this morning. And we're back to fall. Look at this high temperature of 83 last Tuesday. That broke the record for the first of October. That was set all the way back in the 80s. And uh, since then, we've steadily been dropping. And now we're back into a fall time pattern, which is good. This is what fall is supposed to feel like uh, this time of the year. Not a cloud in the sky. Downtown Jamestown on the HD News Now cam. We're at 56. Wind not so much of an issue and the air pressure 30.31 inches that's way above 30 inches which basically means you have high pressure overhead and high pressure is, is sinking air and we'll show you that on the satellite and radar composite you can see high pressure ridge just set up and this high pressure ridge is not going anywhere and as long as that's set up across the area you know what that means the clouds will move away and we're going to be left with lots of sunshine for the next several days. So we'll go zone by zone. We'll start at the Lake Erie shoreline here. Temperatures maybe mid to upper 60s here. Lots of sunshine through the afternoon. But this is what, uh, but you know, this is what October is supposed to feel like. 60s, sunshine fall afternoon. This is what it's going to feel like through the afternoon, so it's going to be great. As we take a look at the forecast details for tonight, a mainly clear starlit sky, patchy River Valley fog redevelops once again, lower to mid 40s for most areas with a light wind. Future, here it comes. 66 tomorrow, 68 on Thursday. Sunshine abode next several days. Sunshine continues into Friday. Pat morning fog each and every morning. Burns off for the afternoon. There's the chance for rain Saturday and Sunday. Sunday the rain ends through the day and sunshine returns next Monday with temperatures below average in the upper 50s. Sports is next, don't go away. You're watching WNY News Now, your source for breaking news. WNY Sports Now is powered by Phone Zone of Jamestown. With the largest inventory around, we buy and sell our own merchandise at a price. Have a broken screen? We'll fix it. Learn more at phonezone.com. Fans, and welcome back to WNY News Now. I'm Norm Rodriguez with a look at sports. In college sports action, the JCC Jayhawks women's volleyball team will be on the road for a non-conference game versus Mercyhurst Northeast tonight at 6 o'clock. The Lady Jayhawks team is on a 16-game winning streak 
and are 18-4 with five more games left to play after tonight's game. In the world of high school sports, the Jamestown Red Raiders JV and varsity volleyball teams will be hosting conference games against the Clarence Red Devils tonight with the JV game at 5 o'clock and the varsity at 7 o'clock. On Monday, the Buffalo Bills traded wide receiver Zay Jones to the Oakland Raiders, receiving a 2021 fifth-round draft pick in return. A second-round pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, Jones has just seven receptions for 69 yards in the first five games of the season. Jones finished his two-plus seasons in a Bills uniform with 90 catches for 1,037 yards and nine touchdowns. With the trading of Jones, the Bills now have six wide receivers on their depth chart. The Buffalo Sabres were handed their first loss of the 2019-2020 NHL season, falling to the Columbus Blue Jackets 4-3 in overtime. Marcus Johansson, Victor Olofsson, and Jeff Skinner each scored one goal. Linus Allmark finished with 40 saves on 44 shots faced. For Columbus, Nick Falingo and Al Alexander Tache each had one goal and one assist, with Tache's goal being the game winner in OT. Columbus also outshot Buffalo on shots on goal 44-18. Buffalo will be back in action Wednesday night at 7 o'clock as they will host the Montreal Canadiens. That's it for sports today. Justin and Matt, back to you. All righty, Norm. Thank you as always. Well, get ready for some comfort food, folks, because... It's National Pierogi Day. You can celebrate the day by ordering the delicious treat at pretty much any Polish restaurant. You can make your own or post a Polish-themed potluck meal. You can also post on social media using the hashtag National Pierogi Day. The semi-circular Polish dumplings are made of unraveled dough that's boiled, then baked or fried in butter. And they're stuffed with all kinds of great stuff, including potato and cheese, but there are a number of endless possibilities. Now, gentlemen, also best is when you have stuffed cheese in it, and then like uh, ricotta, mm -hmm. and then you've got the Alfredo sauce and some crab pieces. Yeah, I mm. agree, Dakota. Mm. Delicious. Are you a big pro? I have never even heard pierogi and what? and actually what's funny is that I lived in Buffalo for three and a half years and I and um, I lived in a neighborhood that was primarily Polish but I never even yeah, heard of it until so now so uh, correct me if I'm wrong but pierogi is a Polish um, dish but maybe it's an Italian thing to dump sauce on it I think it might be Italian because everyone everyone kind of has like their own take yeah. on it so to speak I well well you know I've never heard of it until just this very minute so really interesting well, well he's hey, heard of French fries I know so. where we're going after this let me tell you <laughs> sure so anyway uh, for the kids coming home today 58 to 66 lots of sunshine typical October day 45 to 52 as you head them off to the school bus stop tomorrow morning again it's those sweaters on sweaters off kind of days uh, sweaters on in the morning take them off for the afternoon and several consecutive days of sunshine today all the way through Friday our next chance of rain isn't until the weekend and it's only a scattered chance at that but look at what happened Sunday and Monday temperatures fall below average into the upper 50s all right dakota thank you as always boy another one of those exciting weeks for you in the weather department yeah i know <laughs> but hey you know what our boredom is your game get out and enjoy it absolutely thank you sir you're welcome that's it for us today we leave you with this beautiful picture over chautauqua lake and Burtis bay if you missed anything we talked about don't worry this video on facebook live loops after the broadcast end and you can watch us 24 7 on the wny news now streaming network on our mobile app just search wny news now in the apple app store google play store download it today it's free we'll see you tomorrow have a great day